Hi, thanks for watching. Um, uh, it was great to get comments and feedback from my last vlog, my quite recent vlog. Um, and so I'm back again. Uh, I'd promised you a Christmas cracker. Uh, well, it is December now, so I think we can get away with saying that. Um, what I've got for you today is very different. Um, uh, I was given a project recently to work with a client, to work with a team on delivering some facilitation training. And uh, I thought I wanted to do something different, um, something fresh. And I spoke to my cousin, who has an incredible talent um, for putting words into uh, rhymes, for creating poems. And uh, we came up with this together. It's a joint effort from me and Craig. So thank you, Craig. Um, and um, it's my ode to facilitation training. And I'm going to read it. And I'm not going to try and pretend that I'm not. But I'm reading it. Um, so ode to facilitation training. The only way to open today is to start at the very beginning. An intro to the introduction gets me do re mi -ing. Various elements make facilitation work, and the most important is connection. It's not bums in seats to me. I want to reach out to each and every reflection. Really connecting with every single one. Real talk, heart to heart. Ensuring you all feel welcome today is the only real way to start. It's also important to prepare your day. I've prepared this, as you can tell. I like to know what's going to happen. A plan helps the day to go well. What's vital is the subject matter, not getting along with me. My aim for each and every session is to show that content is key. In fact, to be a clean worker is a process I'd like to make clear. As I stay out of the way and create for the day the impression that I am not here. Clean facilitation is one such technique, a tricky but useful illusion. One's impact remains unfelt by others by repeating words back as a question. For me, this is public coaching. I use questions like this to bring hope. When clarity is needed, an idea is explored and it helps other people to cope. To demonstrate flexible working and to help get this session begun, I'll say a few words in this middle verse. So now I'm halfway done. Being vague on agendas and purpose is a method of great repute. To continue on in an obvious way might not always be the best route. If halfway there you see more clearly a more effective way to go, you can elect to take the easier path and be effortless still in your flow. Pay attention to non-verbal feedback, assessing if all are engaged. I look for clues in what's said and what's not and check body language for rage. I like to be interactive. I'm happy to speed up or slow back. You just need to let me know and I'll make sure we're always on track. Finally, let's talk about outcomes. We all want to aim for that point. The outcomes can be specific or vague, so long as the conclusion is joint. Rapport is the key, as I said at the start, though some people mismatch is true. A fun thing to try when working on the fly is to go with the mismatchers view. My structure is to give flexibility a playful take on how you need to shift. When challenging gently use humour, your feedback is really a gift. You want to be the best you can to help your clients succeed. I cannot give you all the answers, but I hope that this plants a seed. That's it, that's my poem for you. Um, I hope you liked it. I look forward to the comments and feedback as always. Um, see you soon, cheers, bye. bye.